kids and jam friends! Have you ever felt left out? Perhaps you weren't chosen to be on a team during a game because you weren't much of a fast runner. Maybe you went to a friend's party but you couldn't eat the cake because of your food allergies. Perhaps no one plays with you sometimes and you just feel really lonely. It hurts to be left out, doesn't it? Can you imagine what it would be like to be left out of everything in your life? There was a man in the Bible who felt this way. This man lived in Samaria. Remember last week we learned about Samaria and the Samaritans? The Jews thought God didn't care about the Samaritans. They didn't understand how powerful God's love is. Anyone who wasn't a Jew during this time, they were usually treated badly, especially the Samaritans. Life as a Samaritan was not easy, but then it got even worse for this one man. Parts of his skin began to look strange. He had a horrible skin disease. He wanted to get rid of it, so he probably washed it, he scrubbed it with soap, he hoped it would get better, but it didn't. It only got worse and worse. Maybe he even went to the doctor for help. But what he had was a disease called leprosy. Having leprosy meant he would be left out of everything because others could get the disease from him. It was highly contagious. The law said people with leprosy could not live with other people. Um, they would have to leave their homes and their families. It kind of sounds like the coronavirus, doesn't it? But back then, there were no hospitals um, to help people with leprosy to get better. They became outcasts in their community. Whenever other people came near a person with leprosy, that person would have to shout, unclean, unclean. This would warn others to stay away from them. How terrible. There was no known cure for leprosy at the time, and many people who had the disease never got better. It just got worse and worse until they died. The Samaritan man must have felt so hopeless being in this situation. One day, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and he passed by Samaria. Jesus met 10 people with leprosy. People with leprosy sometimes would live together to keep each other company and help each other out. The Samaritan was one of these 10 men. Would Jesus care about this Samaritan man? Yes, of course, Jesus did care. Say it with me. Thank God, Jesus gives hope. Because of their leprosy, the men stayed away from Jesus. But when they saw Jesus, they began to shout to him, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Jesus looked at the lepers and told them to go show themselves to the priests. This is what they were supposed to do if they thought their leprosy was or gone. The priest would make sure that they were really healed. Jesus was offering a way for all of them, even the Samaritan, to be healed. God was their only hope. As the ten men were on their way to the priest, they were all healed. They must have been ecstatic and joyful. Look, I'm clean, I'm healed! But when the Samaritan man realized he had been healed, he did something different than the other nine men. Instead of continuing on to see the priest, the Samaritan turned around and went back to see Jesus. He went back loudly, praising God. Thank you, thank you. God changed him completely and gave him hope. He returned to Jesus and thanked him for what he had done. He was the only one of the 10 men who, who were healed to come back to Jesus. So then Jesus said to the man, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except for this foreigner? Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. The Samaritan man knew he had done nothing to save himself from leprosy. It was all Jesus. Jesus did it all. This man had been an outcast, but Jesus gave him hope that no one else could give. Do you have faith that Jesus heals? Do you have hope in Jesus? Have you thanked God for all that he's done for us? I believe that not only did Jesus heal the Samaritan man of leprosy, but he also saved his soul. The Samaritan man had faith in Jesus because he believed, he, and he is also not only saved from that disease called leprosy, but he can have that forever relationship with God. And that's far more greater. When you are feeling defeated and hopeless, turn to Jesus. And when God answers your prayers, then celebrate and thank and praise Him. Remember, thank God, Jesus gives hope.